All right, so today we're doing oil change on the 500. Here's the parts that I'm using. So we have the 5W30 oil. I'm using synthetic. Uh, some brake parts cleaner to keep that area clean. A couple ratchets, uh, 10 and 14 mil uh, sockets. A little magnetic drain plug tool just to make it clean. Pick tool to remove the gasket. Then we have the filter with the gasket and crush wash replacement. A little oil filter removal tool. This little funnel that screws on makes oil filling easy. Torque wrench and the TIS official manual, which I'll link down below. All right, first things first, we're gonna take off the fill cap, put that to the side. Then I'm also gonna be emptying the R Racing AOS canister. So for me, I like taking these thumb screws out and then unplugging these hoses just to get easy access like that. All right, next we're gonna move on to the filter. To access the filter, we're gonna remove these three 10 mil bolts. And the cover should just pop off like this. All right, so this is what it looks like after the access panel. There's my drain pan. I personally like to use this metal tool that fits right over the housing, like that. So you'll be able to get a good grip with a ratchet on your filter. So you're gonna remove that, let it seep out a little bit, and then remove it all the way. And then you can move the rest by hand. All right, so I'm starting the new gasket on. All right, once the new gas gets on, we're gonna pop in the new filter. And then I'm gonna take some old oil from the old filter, just rub around the O-ring to make sure it gets a good seat. All right, so now we're gonna start on filling the oil. I like to use this screw-on funnel. It fits on the fill plug perfectly, so it prevents any leaks. And the standard IS500 is gonna use 9.1 quarts of oil, but because I have an aftermarket R-Racing oil cooler, I'll be using 9.7. 